But first, new at 11, a sister in mourning. Everybody's friends. Everybody had great stories about him. Nothing, my brother didn't do nothing wrong. Police say the 17-year-old El Dorado high school student was gunned down after a domestic dispute. Tonight, his sister says he died trying to save her. 13 Action News reporter Mazda Saidi is live near Craig and Las Vegas Boulevard with the interview you'll only see on 13 Action News. Masa. Christopher, the sister tells me that she lived upstairs. Her relatives actually lived in an apartment right down here. That is where it happened. Her brother looking to confront the man who just beat so He was always our family's protector. We always called on him if we needed him to come help us. Curly Davenport says she needed her brother's help that morning. At home with three kids, on and off with 911 for hours, as her ex and his cousin, Jesse Shepard, surrounded her home. Kicked in the door, my phone fell on my hand. Her brother, Ethan Walker, already on his way when he heard of the assault, the 17-year-old begging his mom for a ride. I need to get there faster than the bus because they just got hit in her mouth and she's bleeding. Chopper 13 fast and first over the scene moments after. Police say Davenport's relatives forced their way inside another apartment to confront the ex. That's when shots were fired. I just see my brother run past me and I run up to my brother. He just fell to the ground. Tonight, police still looking to find and interview Jesse Shepard. This as Davenport wonders what if she had done something different or patrol officers were able to come to her apartment sooner. I feel like if they were there, it wouldn't have escalated to that. If my brother would still be here. Did you explain how they were outside, how there was yeah. a prior domestic I, violence? I, w I explained all of that. I told them he kicked in my door. Wait, guys. She says she waited nearly four hours for police to arrive. We know that calls are prioritized and police first sent to the most pressing situations. Tomorrow when Metro is open, we're going to reach out to them and find out what happened here. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Such a sad story. Ethan's family has started a GoFundMe page to help cover the cost of his funeral. If you'd like to donate, we'll post a link to our website. Just head to KTNV.com.